Hi guys, how's it going? It is time for a grocery haul once again. Guys, I had all sorts of plans to actually take the camera with me when I was picking up orders because originally it was going to be just Mr. Moo going with and I had like all these funny quips I was gonna start with and everything else. And then I ended up taking several kids with me um, because it was purely order pickups. I didn't have to go in any stores and they needed to get out of the house. So that kind of scratched all those plans. So now I'm finally home with the orders that we picked up, we ran to Sam's Club, Walmart, and Target. I did not make it to Safeway to pick up produce, but that actually works, and I'll explain why at the end, along with all of our totals and how everything is looking. Guys, this week, it's not a huge week by any means, um, but I'm anxious to actually add up the totals and let you guys know just what this added up to this week. So let's get looking at stuff. Guys, this week is not huge by any means. This is what we've got. We have got a box of chocolate Cheerios as well as a bag of the Toasty Graham or Honey to Honey Graham Toasters. My goodness, I can't talk all of a sudden. Um, got that for cereals. Two bags of barbecue chips. That was a special request from a couple of the boys here. And as they said, we hadn't had it in a while. And they're both learning that they can write stuff on the grocery list. Um, I did have to nix a couple things that they wrote, but uh, I could go ahead and give in on that one for them. I have a box of the cheeseburgers. We actually have, guys, all of my convenient shopping last week. We've still got a decent amount left. I did need, I shouldn't say need, I was going to get more pizzas and French toast sticks, but Sam's Club has continued to be out of those. But I got all of those pizza crusts last week and we've still got plenty left. So I'm not really gonna stress that one right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick with that. There's a box of snacks back there. I was finally able to grab those again too. Guys, snacks have been really hard to come by recently. And I even went into Sam's Club the other day, which again, I will talk about at the end because unfortunately I don't have the few things I grabbed that day to show you. But I will talk about that at the end, the issue we've been having getting snacks lately. Anyhow, moving on down here. I've got two packages of the honey roasted turkey breast. Uh, we did not get any chicken this week because we actually have like two packages left of that. Everybody's going through the turkey again rather than the chicken. So that's what we're going with. I have got four packages of the Oscar Mayer natural hot dogs. We have plenty of crescent rolls left so we can have that. I have got a bag of the Southern style chicken bites. Guys, this is something, not only do we make it for an entire meal, but several of the teens have found out that they're just, you can pull out a couple of pieces at a time, either cook them in the microwave or they're really good in the air fryer. They crisp up and they're just nice to have in that way. It's kind of one of those convenient things and you can pull out how many you want. So rather than having like, you know, the individually wrapped cheeseburgers, you know, if they only want three pieces, they want 10 pieces. That, I mean, 10 is actually quite a bit because they're not, <laughs> they're not bad sized. So anyhow, that's what they can do if they choose to. I do have a sirloin tip roast. Um, well, of course, it's upside down, so I can't really show you guys that very well. Guys, this is, because my birthday is this week, and that's kind of something I've started doing for Sean and myself, is homemade roast with potatoes and carrots. It's just kind of one of our favorite meals, and it's definitely one of my favorite meals. So I got that. I'm going to season it the way I like it, and it, it's kind of my birthday meal. So that's what... That is for there. One of the more expensive things that we did get this week. Got a thing of string cheese because the kids have been going through those again. Um, guys, funny story. I stopped in a store even to grab, um, the other day when I stopped in Sam's, I was gonna grab some of the block cheese. I couldn't even find a spot for it. So I went ahead and grabbed two blocks of Tillamook cheese. And I don't remember being able to put this on my order, but apparently I did because I've got two blocks of the Members Mark Colby Jack. So I don't know where they were hiding it but I could not find that the other day when I was in the store. So there is that. I do have a bag of the mandarins or cuties because the kids all seem to be liking those again. Blueberries were a very specific and special request. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of the grocery pickup, but I will say that these blueberries actually look pretty good. So I'm not gonna stress those. I do have another thing of eggs because we've been going through those lately. Uh, both with French toast and egg sandwiches, as well as some baking. And I just needed to go ahead and get some more. And then I got a thing of the Chobani flips. They have seasonal flavors here. I don't know if that'll zoom in for you there. Uh, there's s'mores, strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream. And then the last one, it's a new one. I know you guys can't see that, but it's peppermint perfection. 
I personally think that sounds disgusting as a yogurt, but the kids were really excited about it, so we're just going to run with that. I'll have to try to remember to weigh in later and let you guys know what they thought of it in the end. And then, guys, yes, this is kind of a treat. As a kid, it was always kind of fun at the holidays to get the sparkling juices. I know some view this as a non-alcoholic alternative, but we just genuinely like the sparkling juice factor. And there's enough people in the house. I grabbed two of each of those flavors. Uh, just something special to have here for the next week with the holiday and everything else. And that guys is what we've got let me go ahead we're gonna get this put away i'll flip it i'll tell you totals about our holiday meal and the little adventure into sam's club recently okay guys so i came down to my craft room because i've actually got an opening that i'm gonna do that'll be coming up here in the next week or so and i to close out this grocery haul so with that said i just ran all of the totals and everything. Uh, before I get to those though, I realized as I was putting groceries away that I don't actually remember saying half the stuff uh, that was in there, like the almond milk and the whole milk and all of that. I don't know if I just skipped over them or if I actually said it. I'm going to find out when I edit this, but I found it really funny that, yeah, there wasn't that much there and I managed to skip things and I realized I was bouncing around more than I normally do. That's why I try to just go across and I try to put similar items together. So there was that. As far as other groceries and stuff, uh, there was stuff that was not in there and I had said that. Uh, the other day I did end up at Target and while we are plenty good on baby food and stuff, I did get baby snacks like the puffs and some of the little freeze dried yogurt melts. Um, I picked up some of that. I've added that into the totals. I didn't show you guys that portion. Um, I think there was like three or four of each. And then I did also stop into Sam's Club the other day, like two days ago, and I mostly got uh, some more clothing items and stuff for our some of our fosters, but I, I got about $100 worth of food and I was trying to go into the Sam's Club app, the purchase history, which normally has all of the like purchases because it's on our account and it's not showing for some reason. Um, so I'm really not sure what's going on there, but either way, I know about what there was. That one, I'm just kind of guesstimating though uh, on that. So with that said, between the Sam's Club, Walmart, and Target orders today, the Target purchase the other day of baby food, and the Sam's Club, well, actually not counting the Sam's Club. Okay, so just between the pickups today from Sam's, Walmart, and Target, plus the Target purchase the other day, the total for that was $293.70. That's actually under the old $300 budget. You add in about $100 for Sam's because I don't have the exact total there. It's just a guesstimate that is pushing us really close to that $400 mark, which guys, I said that was going to be my goal. Somewhere between the, in the four, 450 range is going to be our new budget. And that actually shows that we are doing it. Now, as I did say, when I was doing the haul, there, there wasn't a lot there. Now, some of that's because I did pick up stuff the other day. Uh, the other thing I realized too is because there's also things I ordered when I placed those orders um, that are being shipped here. So like from Sam's Club, there's two of the big boxes of the almond butter biscuits that Sean likes that Sam's Club is shipping to us. And I want to say those are like $18 a box, 13 or 18. I know that's a big difference, but I can't exactly remember at the moment. And then from Walmart, um, the Heinz barbecue sauce that we like, it actually does not seem to be carried in any stores out here anymore. Like none of the different flavors. And they have like six or more different flavors of the different Heinz barbecue sauces. I'm not sure what's up with them not being carried locally anymore. I have not checked Safeway, but their prices tend to be so much more. So again, I don't know what's up with that. I just ordered it through Walmart, through Walmart to have it shipped. And so those will be coming. I don't remember exactly how many bottles, three or four, I think. Uh, so that stuff was not in there, um, which I know this kind of sounds like it's defeating the purpose of a grocery haul if half the stuff was not in there. But that is why that is what's been happening. Um, I feel like things have been really scattered with Sean being gone and um, 
just the extra kids and trying to balance the budget and getting used to have a baby in the house again who is doing phenomenal with different foods. Um, she is really, really showing how well she can eat. So there is that. I'm really happy with the budget overall uh, that things are going to fall into place. And I think with a little bit of tweaking and as we get out of this little bump week that we've had with Sean being gone and all the convenience foods, uh, we'll get more and more into the baking and homemade meals and stuff, which means that some of those recipes I promised a little while back, like the tater tot casserole will be coming because I've actually been itching to make that recently. I have the tater tots in the freezer and everything. They've just been waiting. I just haven't had the time to do it. Um, but I have sour cream in my fridge that needs to be used here soon. So it's going to be the perfect time for it. Plus now I have plenty of cheese since I ended up with the two blocks of Colby Jack cheese, which I never did check and see um, it, how those ended up in there. If I actually managed to order them or if there's a glitch in their system somehow, since they keep bumping them out. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, that is this week's grocery haul. I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. I'll see you in the next one.